This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I'm the world's greatest living artist, actually. <laughs> Coming to you here from a corner of my art studio where we package some of my artwork. And I just wanted to introduce myself because usually I'm just painting. I'm doing artwork. I'm, uh, well, yeah, doing my thing, right? I hope that this fan is not too distracted. Let me see. Let me try it out. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. There's a... Uh, the fans gonna be there <laughs> so uh yeah i just wanted to introduce myself i am an artist i'm a full-time artist i've been creating artwork for the past 20 years plus and uh i started out as a as a as a painter but i started doing a lot of different stuff mixed media i i started practicing uh, frescoes uh murals I, I did a bit of a, I consider myself a bit of a muralist when I started. Uh, frescoes with uh, egg tempera and fresco a seco, which is just a dry mural uh, without the plaster, without the... Anyways, for those of you who know that. Uh, and uh, and then I moved on to creating uh, different types of, of artwork. Uh, you know, this consisted in uh, watercolor, acrylics, and different stuff. At some point, I started I started to understand a little bit of what oil was. I've always played with it, but I, I got to, you know, understand a little bit more about it. And uh, that led me to become a portrait artist, a portrait painter. And I did that for a while. That's how I, I created an income stream doing that. Uh, and then uh, I... I, I also started creating artwork for, for galleries and, you know, like for exhibits and whatnot. I had my first one-person show when I was 16 years old. Yeah, 16 years old was my, my one. So I've always, I've, I've always liked the whole prolific thing. I've always liked to create a lot of artwork. You know, you can imagine at 16 years old, I had over 200 plus paintings ready to exhibit and framed and, you know, the whole thing. And and I think that that idea has always been in the back of my mind. How can I produce more? How can I create more artwork? How can it's not necessarily to sell? Of, of course, that's part of it. That's part of my gig, right? I, I, I that's how I sustain myself and my family. But uh, but it's really to discover, to to discover my my vision, to discover my voice, and 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 to open that up, really, and. Uh, and that's really one of the main, if not the, the main reason why I like to create artwork on a daily basis, why I'm always pushing that, that agenda, <laughs> why I'm sharing with you guys on YouTube, on Facebook, here on Instagram, LinkedIn, on Twitter. I'm always sharing different stuff and, and kind of like little, little uh, uh, my two cents, I guess, on creating artwork, you know. And with that being said... Uh, I just wanted to, you know, make a little quick uh, video here and show myself. Uh, I am the world's greatest living artist, just to, just so that nobody forgets. <laughs> In case, it, maybe, maybe you are the world's greatest living artist too, but, but uh, I claimed it first. <laughs> so aside from all that, all the fun stuff, I love creating artwork every day. Uh, now I create different types of artwork also, but uh, it's more geared towards uh, impressionistic loose brushwork style. I don't know if here's where I'm going to stay. I know this is where I'm at right now. This is how I, I provide right now, uh, my family. And it's going great. It's going great. I'm looking to expand my studio. I'm looking for a large warehouse. I've been talking about this for the past couple of months. I'm looking for a, I want a huge, you know, I want the huge studio. I, it's, it's, it's adventurous. It's, it's, you know, I want the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diana. I really, I really appreciate that. I want the whole thing. It's not, you know, I don't, I'm tired of just painting in the corner by myself. I mean, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing it from a, from a bigger studio now, but uh, I used to do that a lot. You know, I used to just kind of hang out in the corner of, you know, flip a chair. I used to flip a chair and make that my easel, right? And, and and just kind of paint in a corner and 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 you know practice my skills there i you know as i mentioned to you i used to do portrait painting i used to do, i i worked a bit into hyper realistic type of surrealist work uh you know i'm like most artists right just kind of experimenting and, and creating stuff and you know in all that chaos something good is going to come out right and and i think that i'm i'm my i'm 35 years old now i think i'm 
I'm kind of ripping the benefits of all that chaos. Uh, I, I feel very empowered. I feel very positive. Things are going great. I get commissions uh, just about on a daily basis. Someone's calling me to to they want they want a painting. They want you know some sort of uh, sometimes a portrait, sometimes a still life, whatever it is. Sometimes interior designer, sometimes for hotels and blah blah blah. And while I am not this big artist, I am always working, and that encourages me. That that keeps me going. You know, uh, I'm not selling my artwork yet at you know hundreds of thousands of dollars, but but I'm working, and and I think that this is this is something that I want to share with you guys because it's really the it's really what kept me going early on. I used to listen to everybody tell me you got to be this expensive artist and only create artwork for these expensive places and only you know every I think everybody wants to shoot for that and and that's fair you know that's fair I think that's great. But uh, uh, at some point, I started to, to, to understand something. I started to understand that many of the artists that were working artists actually accepted work. And, and, and in, in that chaos, let's call it chaos, right? Because there's so much happening. Uh, someone might say, oh, I have a gallery exhibit for you here. Okay, I'll, I'll say yes. Uh, can you paint this portrait of my horse? Sure, why not? You know, I, of course, if you can do it, if you can't do it, well, you know, that's different. But, but I, I, as I mentioned to you, I was a portrait painter. So I was like, yeah, I can do it. And someone would be like, you know, can you paint this uh, Dali-esque piece, blah, 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 you know, with this and that. And I have some photographs from my family. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, so 80s. Yay. <laughs> and, and, you know, and I think that that, created a muscle for me to jump on things and just do them and get them done. And, and it was, it was, it was, I had a lot of fear about it. It was very, it, I was very afraid of it because it meant where, who am I? If I'm doing all these jobs, all these odd jobs, right? You know, I, I, at some point I felt like the janitor of painting, you know, I'm doing, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with that, right? But when you think of being an artist, you don't think of that. You think of being this very, you know, vertical right niche you know that you you only do this type of stuff you don't you're not you're not uh you're not wearing so many hats but doing that actually made me build a a super muscle <laughs> that i think i know i don't know if it's confidence or if i'm just arrogant guys bear with me it doesn't matter which one it is it works for me it built it, it helped me build a muscle that that i feel confident to create artwork and, and and to not say no to things. And when I get invited to an exhibit or an interior designer calls me, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And 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 every time I was around other artists in my in my social groups, this was a sort of a problem, right? Because I was like the 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 uh, what would you call that? I don't know the D list, I guess, of the artists. Uh, because everybody was playing something else, right? They were trying to play their cards right. They were trying to, and and that's fine, you know, that's fine. But it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. It actually muscle memory, <laughs> muscle memory. It's real. It really is real. Muscle memory is everything. <laughs> I heard I heard this 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 guy talk about this success coach talk about uh, uh, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Uh, if you give him the ball, you know. Five seconds before before the clock or whatever before the bell, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't watch sports, but uh, I can I can relate that. Uh, if if they give if they give me the basketball, I'm gonna look at it and stare at it and 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 be like, oh, what am I gonna do with this? But if you give it to a pro, right? Two seconds is a lifetime for me. Two seconds for them is like they'll do they'll do all kinds of things in two seconds. Well, I'll just stare at the basketball, right? Because I don't have muscle memory. <laughs> Influencers sometimes don't have a clue. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, and so that's how I kind of see it. You know, I, I, for me, it's a, it's a journey. I know, I know, it's not for everybody. For me, it's both. It's a very intense. Um, and again, guys, the reason I'm, I'm talking about myself and blah blah and all this is because, first of all, uh, I'm an artist, so I guess people say that we're very egocentric. <laughs> And second, uh, I just want to introduce myself because I've been doing some some uh, uh, videos uh, wa somewhat on a daily basis now on Instagram of, of me painting, right? And uh, I see that this this people uh, 
uh, high performance athletes and 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 uh, and success coaches that are actually walking the walk, not just talking the talk, but walking the walk. And you can see because it has to do with their fruits. What are they producing? Are they just showing up to talk, or do they own businesses and are they producing something? And I think that those are different. Um, Angel Pings says uh, it's developed, not necessarily learned from others. Artists are creative. Yeah, totally. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, I I th I I think it's it's definitely no matter how you put it, you have to develop it yourself. But some of the stuff, some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Totally. Hey, absolutely, Diane. Uh, I, I hope I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. There's my wife uh, carrying some bubble wrap for some paintings. Be careful with the shakiness on the table, okay? So, uh, totally, uh, Diane. Thanks. Uh, it's it's a pleasure sharing this stuff. It really is. You know, when I was starting out, no one talked about this stuff. I don't know if people do now. I'm very. I'm not old. I'm 35. I'm, I'm a young. I'm a young book. But. Uh, but I also come from that, you know, time where where online was like, yes, there is a line, but we're also not doing online stuff. I don't know. I don't know if, if any any other millennial can relate with me. I'm one of the late bloomers, I guess. Where when it came to online, uh, I used to I used to call my my wife before, when she was my girlfriend. I used to call her and outside of a payphone, <laughs> she had a cell phone. I, had a, I used to go. Uh, Outside my studio on a payphone, and you know, I did that kind of stuff. <laughs> Angel says, "Ideas from others, not to copy, but I spark in different directions." Absolutely, absolutely. I think artists are sponges. If 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 you go into artwork, at least this is for me, okay, guys. I can't dictate. You know, everybody's different, but uh, my experience has been, I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. I will, I will suck in whatever whatever is in my environment and and it's not going to be the same as someone else expressed it you know even if i wanted to even if I, even if you want I me mean, anyone pick try to try to be dali even if you paint like him you know you're not going to be dali because dali is dali right uh, picasso's picasso and and on and on and on and on right it, you, you can't be them even if you paint exactly like them or or you have that je ne sais quoi you, you can't be them everybody's everybody's born with their own star and, and I think the, the hard part is, is, is recognizing that, that you have that power. Each one of us has that power. And as I'm talking to you, I'm really, I mean, I'm talking to myself, really. I'm looking, you know, but it, it helps me a lot to reflect on my own, on my own uh, 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 perspective, on my own, you know, I'm learning as I'm going. I, you know, I, I, I can't sit here and claim to you guys that I know, you know, I know everything. Oh, please listen to me. No, I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing. I, I don't, I don't claim to know, you know, everything or anything for that matter. I, I know what works for me. I have discovered what works for me and I continue to discover that. And I realize that what works for me is to be insatiable, to be, to be obsessed, to be out to con constantly be producing artwork, constantly be talking to people, constantly being sharing my artwork, that works for me. Maybe it's not your gig, maybe that's not your thing, but you gotta find that thing, right? That, that I think that, as, I, as I've talked in other videos, if you guys haven't checked my, my YouTube videos, I have over 900 videos there where I just blah, 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 and paint, 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 paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both instructional and motivational, and <laughs> anyways, <laughs> maybe that's not your gig, right? Uh, but you're not going to escape work, regardless of what it is. Whether your thing is, um, I don't know, you're a high-end painter, or you are a high-end photographer, or you are not a high-end. Maybe you're just, you know, you just want to paint. Maybe you're a plein air artist who just wants to paint, and you love painting, and you're like, man, I wish I could earn some, you know, a bit of, a bit of income, you know, an income stream from this. That'd be awesome, or gas money, or whatever it is. You know, I don't know what it is for you, but... I've noticed that it doesn't matter what it is, you will not escape work. Work is that one thing you will not escape. And and what I've what I'm learning at this point in my career, I don't even call it career, it's a business now. It's not, no longer, you know, just something that I want to do. Uh, um, what I've been learning is that it's it's uh might as well marry work. And not work for the sake of working, but 
take it in as a as a, as a calling. For me, it's 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 more it's vocational. It has turned into something vocational. Where at first it started like, oh man, I want to learn how to paint, and then I moved on to, well, maybe I can make a buck. I can flip a buck or two, right? And then as things started working more, and I got my family involved, and then you know now I'm painting daily and. And on and on and on, and I'm trying to get help for my studio and this and that. Now it's like, oh, okay, this this is this is really I'm trying to push my 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 vision. It's a calling. Angel Angel says that's why art is diverse. One person's abstract can be another nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. It's so true. It's diverse. There's no, uh, but you know, but going back to that. What I was telling you, you know, it's, you, you will not be able to escape uh, work. I know, and, and I and I know that 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 you know we all think differently, we all see things differently, and but I get asked this a lot, whether it's on email or people message me on Facebook or you know or DM me here on Instagram, it's the same thing. People keep asking me the same thing, and I just wanted to share a little bit with you guys who I am, and 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 touch on those things because the same questions keep rising. How much do you paint? How much should I practice? How uh, how often should I paint? Uh, where can I show my work? And and on and on and on. And I think those are all great questions, but they're reduced to, to mechanics. And every time you're, you reduce something to mechanics, you're putting the cart before the horse. You, sh you should be able to, to look at it as, man, this is my life. This is my life calling. You know. And if you're not looking at it like that, I understand because... Because sometimes it's hobby, sometimes it's just uh, to decompress, sometimes it's uh, artwork is for many different reasons, right? But if you're an artist who wants to, let's say you want to be a full-time artist, you want to create artwork for a living, you need to be you need to be looking at it very serious with a with a kind heart, especially to yourself, right? That's why I laugh a lot. You know, I'm always I mean, shit. People are always like, "Man, why are you laughing so much?" Because if I don't if I don't keep it mild, if I don't keep it, you know, I I tried. Light, right? Light. If I don't keep it light, my, my wife is, is correcting my English. <laughs> I was born in Mexico, so. so. Uh, if I don't keep it light, uh, it's, uh, I try the, 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 what do you call it? The serious stuff. I already try that. It's painful. It's painful. It's absurd. It's perfectionist. Again, perfectionism is another form of procrastination. I don't like it. I think perfectionism works in certain areas, like, like you want the airlines to be perfect, right? <laughs> you want flight to be perfect. You want certain things, but not in artwork. I don't think it. I don't think artwork is one of those places that it doesn't work, and uh, it, it's only paralysis. And you know, I tried all of that stuff, and it didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for other people. I don't know, but it it, it sure as hell didn't work for me. Uh, that's why I go back to saying uh, certain quotes, repeating certain quotes other artists have mentioned before in the past. You know, like some of my favorite ones are the impressionists. But uh, like the God, the God said, every time that when I'm not doing, when I don't, only when you don't know what you're doing is that you're doing something great, right? You're, you're actually creating artwork. And, and he, touched, he touches on those things, you know, like uh, Raphael also, Raphael said, you know what, when you're, you know what, <laughs> Raphael, yeah, the great Renaissance painter, Raphael said, you know what, <laughs> uh, when one paint, one does not think, you know? So what are they talking about? It seems to... Uh, too, too abstract it seems like like uh like you know kind of hippie you know I, I don't know kind of like uh a, a, a bit zen you know very zen and i'm cool i'm i'm all cool with that but for those of you who are not cool with that it's it's not just that i don't think that they're just trying to be zen about it i think what they're trying to say is hey just maybe that's what it is i don't know but just keep it light you know don't treat the I this is this is the way I see things guys when I create artwork the 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 practical aspect has to be very serious it's 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 deadly serious for me showing up painting no matter what even if I have a stomach ache or I don't feel like painting tough shit show up and paint right that's how I see that part but the the actual artwork it's very light for me I, and I've made it that way because it used to be very serious. It used to be so serious that I would be like, I would have chills at night and be like, oh man, did I, did I, the tones, the tones of that portrait, they're not going to like the portrait because the tones are off or, or the composition is not balanced, you know, to <laughs> some numerical BS from, I don't know, you know, the, 
the perfect balance and the compositions and you know the rule of thirds i didn't use the rule of thirds here and i used to get chills and, and be you know always afraid and and that's fine that taught me something it taught me structure i i understood part of of the theory and you know when it came to to all the theory you know basic theory i didn't i didn't go much into it but i went enough into it where where it's uh it became very serious for me right i know that there's plenty of artists out there who are who are very uh they understand theory very well and maybe they don't, they don't have that problem i did i had i had that problem i made it too serious so i had to lighten up and that's that's where i started my journey it was it was sort of a healing process it was painful in the beginning first i was excited you know oh i'm creating artwork yeah that's exciting you know then i started to know a little bit more and then I became fearful. And then after that, I just, you know, you know, the, 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 the typical ups and, ups and downs. And now I'm in a, and I would, I guess I would call it a healing process where I'm, I'm, I'm accepting, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not the best artist. I'm not, no, I'm just the world's greatest living artist. That's who I am. <laughs> My wife laughs, but in a good way. <laughs> so I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. Jose, J-O-S-E-T-R-U-J-I-L-L-O. Google me. I'm in Google. Or how, how, do they, how, do they all, how do the old folks say? I'm in the Google. <laughs> in the Google. I'm in the Google. So it's worth the Google, you guys. <laughs> Check me out. Uh, I, got, I, got, uh, I got lots to say. I don't know why. I got lots to say with paint, and I got lots to share. Uh, it's, it's, it's been an awesome journey. I know it's only going to get better. And I'm positive about it. You know, like Rumi said. Uh... Expect life to be rigged your way. If you're not, you're looking at it the wrong way. You know? None of this half empty, half full. It's always full. None of this half full. Who, who, who's okay with halves anyways? <laughs> I want the whole damn thing. All right, guys. Take care. My name is Jose Trujillo. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, artist Jacqueline. Uh, you, you guys enjoy this. I'm sorry I didn't paint today. I'm sorry you guys have to see my, my beautiful, handsome face today. But, you know, I mean, that's what you get. Sometimes you get the art. Sometimes you get the artist. Take care, guys. Till next time, all right? Bye-bye. Be cool. Be kind. Especially to yourselves.